Your nipples are inverted. You're wondering whether or not they can be pierced or not, and if that would help. Coming up next in Body Piercing Basics, episode number 56. So stick around. For those that are new to the channel, my name is Dave O, a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. I own and operate the Axiom Body Piercing Studio located here in Des Moines, Iowa, inside Skin Kitchen and Tattoo. Over the years, I've done numerous inverted nipples, had very great results, had a few that weren't so great. So basically, this video is done by an expert of someone who has studied this, researched this, and helped people through the process. With that out of the way, let's get into what exactly is inverted nipples. Inverted nipples are nipples that don't want to, they kind of tend to be more inside the body. They might take a little extra um, stimulation to come out of the body than normal nipples do. The cause is some people are born with it. Uh, it's either genetic or it's a situation where in the womb, the nipple didn't completely develop or the milk ducts didn't develop, or the breast didn't develop. So you end up with an inverted uh, nipple. Breastfeeding. If there has been trauma to the breast during breastfeeding, especially to the milk ducts, that's called some scarring, it can cause them to suddenly become inverted after you get done breastfeeding. The third one, aging. As you get older and the shape of your breast changes and everything kind of starts to slowly wind down, especially in the mid-30s, um, when you start to move towards menopause, the milk ducts can, can shrink and thus kind of suck the nipple into the, uh, into the breast. The fourth one being is trauma to the piercing, either in the form of breast surgery, maybe augmentation, or some type of trauma has caused damage to reshape the breast and cause the nipples to want to invert. The last one is kind of important. If suddenly, out of the blue, you have developed inverted nipples, you haven't been breastfeeding, there's, no, there's been no surgery, there's been no heavy trauma to the area, it could be a sign of breast cancer. So please, please, please go get screened. The level of how inverted the nipple is can be broken into three different types. The first one being is those that they sit in their natural state when nothing's going on, and they are inverted inside the breast. But once they have a little bit of stimulation, they just kind of pop out and act like a normal nipple. The second one being is that they can be pulled out. It's not easy to pull them out, but when they do come out, they tend to retract almost immediately or shortly afterwards. The third type, basically they, no matter how much stimulation, no matter what you do, they just don't come out. And if they do come out, they retract very, very quickly. What makes you a good candidate for piercing in solving this inverted nipple issue would be if you are one of those people who have the first two grades, where yes, uh, especially those that are grade one, where yes, if we get the nipple out, it's gonna stay out. Uh, grade two, it's gonna take a little bit more work, but usually um, we can get enough tissue out there to mark it properly, um, establish the anatomy, and go ahead and pierce it. Now let's move on to the piercing itself. The first thing you need to know right off the bat is because you have inverted nipples, you are at a higher risk of migration or rejection. That needs to be understood going in. Even though we're gonna do everything we possibly can to make sure that that doesn't happen, it is still you are higher risk than somebody that has well-developed, not inverted nipples, sorry. In most cases, once we pierce it and the piercing is healed, what it will do is it will support the piercing or the nipple and keep it erect and out of the body. Also, the nipple may increase slightly in size, just like with any other nipple piercing, to make room for that jewelry. So basically what we're trying to do is kind of freeze it in that state and have the, the and give the nipple a chance to develop in a different way than it originally did. When we pierce it, we pierce it slightly different than other piercings, uh, nipple piercings. Usually nipple piercings are done straight through. With inverted, because there's kind of that crease in the center, it, we kind of shape the piercing almost at a, a arch level. Um, the piercing may take a slight bit longer to do that. It may take a little bit more finesse and you should be prepared for that. 
when you're picking out the jewelry, the jewelry is usually slightly longer than what we would normally pierce a nipple at. We want that little extra room for support. The ball's usually slightly smaller than what we would pierce with normally, just to kind of reduce some of the stress and also to reduce some of the weight. As far as the placement goes, it's exactly the same as it would be with a normal nipple piercing. We do we want to get it out so we can figure out where that base is. Once we figure out where that base is, we're going to pierce right at the base of the nipple. Um, we're not going to do it towards the top. We're not going to try to go into the area or in out because there's issues with we want to make as least amount of impact on the milk ducts that are in your areola and in your nipple. So when we do it, we kind of need to have it somewhat erect to mark and somewhat erect to actually do the piercing. Once we've done that, we kind of push it in even when we're clamping it and uh, cause that nipple to stay in position for us and get the piercing done. Well, that's all I have to say today about piercing inverted nipples. As always, when you are thinking about getting a procedure done like a piercing, go see a piercer, do a consultation, talk to them, ask lots of questions, um, and have them evaluate the area for you to see if it's possible. Then, if you're not 100% sold one way or another, or you're getting kind of conflicting views or a little uneasiness about it, just take some time and think about it. The piercer is not going anywhere and I'm guessing your nipples aren't. So giving it a little bit of time and a little cool down period to think about it is not a bad idea, especially if you're that kind of second or towards the third grade or type of inverted nipple where you're at a higher risk for migration and rejection. Hope you learned something. If you did, uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. We post videos on tattooing and body piercing with a focus on education roughly four to five times a week. So hit that notification bell so you never miss one of them. If I brought up something or you feel like I missed something in this video and you have something to add or something additional that you would like to ask, please leave a comment. I usually answer them when I have time. If you're stylish and you like swag, check out our merch store. We have very similar designs, uh, but very similar products, including t-shirts, tote bags, coffee mugs, tapestries, leggings, all kinds of fun stuff. So check that out. Link is in the description. I'll also put up a card too. Till next time, here's hoping all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see if your body piercing needs in the future. Try. Thank you for watching, everybody. Trying out a new camera. Uh, if you notice the difference, leave a comment. Uh, it's a new, on this one, it's a brand new camera. It's a uh, ESOR. On this one, it's uh, the old M50 with a speed booster in the 60 to 35 millimeter uh, 1.4L. So tell me, which quality do you think is better? Camera A or camera B? Other than that, go out, have some fun, do something for yourself because uh, probably no one else is going to.